Amber Jenner. I am a legal director at Kennedy's. I went to the University of Reading and studied law. So I actually wanted to be a barrister initially, so when I went off and did my law degree, I'd watched a lot of American TV shows, uh, US attorneys at large, really wanted to do it. But when I actually went to university and did the mooting, went and had experiences in solicitors, I found I actually preferred the office environment and the team environment more than the solitary barrister lifestyle. So I actually did my training contract at Kennedy's um, seven years ago now, feels like a very long time ago, and I really enjoyed it. I really wanted to do insurance litigation, I wasn't interested in the commercial side, I'd worked that out from various uh, back schemes and uh, other opportunities that I'd had to get work experience, and I just really, uh, really enjoyed my time there, getting to move around all the teams. I mainly focused on liability and injury style work, and then eventually settles in the serious and catastrophic injury team. It was actually the very first seat that I did on my training contract there. I absolutely loved it. Um, I went off and did the clinical negligence and then went on to comment for them and then came back afterwards. And in our team, we act for a lot of the insurers defending personal injury claims that have been made against their insureds. That might involve uh, road traffic accidents, employees' liability claims, or public liability claims. And we get a really wide mix of um, sometimes quite entertaining accident circumstances, some more straightforward, and a really wide range of injuries that come from it, from brain injuries, amputations, chronic pain cases, right the way down to a fractured toe. It can be really varied, I never have the same day. Uh, one day I could be at court, sat behind a council, listening to a hearing or a trial. I could be drafting a report to a client, going through the initial pa papers, giving them the, my initial advices on liability, what the value is, what the next steps are. Um, or I could be drafting any number of court documents, attending business development meetings. It can be a really, really varied day and that's what I quite enjoy about this area is that I just get to do so much different things. I think highlights of my career are actually quite difficult because I have had quite a range of exciting and interesting cases some very high profile ones that you read about in the news and that's always quite exciting when you think, oh, I did that case. Um, some others with really uh, peculiar accident circumstances or peculiar injuries that you think are quite interesting. But I think for me, one of my particular highlights was the first time my apprentice ever ran a case all by herself. Uh, obviously, uh, as her supervisor, we've been training together for a couple of years, getting her used to all the different areas. And it was the first case that she'd ever run from start to finish, thinking of the tactics, doing the advice. And when it settled, I couldn't have been more proud. So I think what I most enjoy is the variety. As I said, nothing is ever the same. You get some really interesting cases that come through. Um, and you get to continually learn. And that's what I really enjoy. You know, there's always something new coming out or something new to discover or someone quotes a a really random section of the civil procedure rules at you and you've got to look it up uh, and do more research into it because it's not an area you've necessarily come across before. So that's what I really like. I think in terms of the sort of uh, other side of that, yes, it is law. You do get some last minute things that come through on a Friday at 4pm, which you wish hadn't come through on a Friday at 4pm. But it just comes with the job and as with any job, you take the highs with the lows, but thankfully there aren't that many lows. So I think one of the big issues that uh, we are seeing in our practice area and also I imagine it will happen in a lot of other practice areas at the minute as well, is how we live in this hybrid lifestyle. Obviously the pandemic has changed a lot of things, we no longer do 9 to 5 at a desk and we are all adapting within the firms as to how we handle that for employee wellbeing junior education um, and also for me with the courts we are still working out how it is best to proceed going forwards do we just have remote hearings all the time do we have a hybrid do we have remote expert examinations or do they actually need to see the claimant and be with them so there's a lot to try and work out there still and I think that's going to take quite a few years before we get to what is the new normal. I also think that one thing at the minute that is a hot topic is ESG, um, which are um, 
sort of the new corporate social responsibility. I am heavily involved in the charity work at Kennedy's. Uh, I did the London Legal Walk recently. I organise, help organise some quizzes, some raffles, anything to raise money. And it's becoming a real, uh, a real key issue that clients are looking at in the tendering processes. Um, so I work closely with our corporate social responsibility team to uh, see what more can be done in the firm and help promote um, promote sort of Kennedy's charitable efforts uh, sort of internally to get as much engagement as we possibly can. I think we're currently about to just do a Peak District challenge where they're walking through the Peak District. Um, so I'm expecting lots of blisters, but hopefully lots of money raised as well. So I think one of the key things that you, skills that you need uh, to work in my practice area is attention to detail. We're often comparing uh, a wide range of documents. We will read someone's medical records, what their expert has said, all of the documentary evidence in a case and having to collate all of that and get an overall picture. You really need that attention to detail to remember who said what when uh, and where you've read something. We often, you know, in 3,000 pages you're going to have to go back and find that one sentence <laughs> that was actually useful to you. So attention to detail is really key. Time management is also quite a good skill to have. You run a very large number of cases at any one time and you have to work out how to prioritise which ones are most urgent, what has caught deadlines on, what comes in last minute, things that you think aren't urgent suddenly are urgent two weeks later. Um, so managing your time effectively and being efficient and being able to move through the work is also quite a uh, key skill. And being analytical is uh, quite important as well. As I said, you need to process a lot of information, review it and work out the next steps from it um, after having analysed it. So I'd say those are probably the three key areas that are, uh, three key strengths that I would suggest that you need. So I think if you're not sure if law is for you, do the work experience as soon as you can. I had uh, friends that have gone through a law degree, the LPC and a training contract and now have realised it's not for them. You know, it takes a long time to train to be a solicitor or a barrister. Um, so the earlier you know that that isn't actually what you might want to do, um, the less time you've wasted sort of going down a path that you might actually not want to do. So go out, try and get some work experience, whether it's in mooting, work experience at a law firm, marshalling a judge, a mini pupillage, whatever you can, just to see that is the practice what you really want to do because the practical side of law isn't often what you do in your law degree. Um, you know, the base knowledge is there, but it's a very different world. I think looking back now, I would have said to myself, don't stress. It took me four years to get my training contract, um, but actually those four years were spent working out what firm was going to be the best one for me. I started off applying a lot for the Magic Circle and the American firms because they were the ones that are more prominent. Um, and actually I don't think I'd probably be sat here as a lawyer today had I gone down those routes because I wouldn't have found my passion of working in sort of insurance litigation. So take the time, do the research into what firm is best for you, what qualification route is best for you. You know, when I was training, we only had the training contract. Now you've got the training contract, the apprenticeship route, and the SQE route, and the Silex route. You know, and everyone will have a different opinion of what is best for them. So take the time, don't rush into a decision, don't just pick necessarily the first firm that comes along, actually research what is going to be best for you in the long term.